Ask the Messengers, the program that deals with substance abuse, real people telling real stories. Hosted by Pastor Lester Lewis, co-host Charlize Wilkerson and Leroy Carey. Produced by David Humphreys. Where there is addiction, there is a chance for recovery. We're trying to help save lives on Ask the Messengers. April is Alcohol Awareness Month, and today on Ask the Messengers, we visit the offices of the National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence, Greater Detroit area. Their offices are located right in the very community they serve at 2400 East Magnichols in Detroit. Our host, Lester Lewis, will go one-on-one with President and CEO Dr. Benjamin A. Jones about the history of NCADD and the services they provide to the community. We will meet some of his staff who will share information information about the different programs at NCADD that are focused on prevention, treatment, and recovery. We will also hear from a couple of individuals who have been helped by the programs offered at NCADD. And now we welcome you to Ask the Messengers. Hi, I am Pastor Lester Lewis, your host for Ask the Messengers. Uh, We have a show today that's lined up that it will absolutely uh, be a show you will not forget. Uh, We have with us Dr. Benjamin Jones. Dr. Jones, thank you so much for being on the show with us today. Thank you for having me. All right. Listen, won't you tell us uh, the history of NCADD? Well, the National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence, Greater Detroit area, is a local affiliate of about 90 affiliates around the country. It was started in New York by Marty Mann. Marty Mann is said to be the first woman to maintain sobriety through Alcoholics Anonymous. And Marty Mann saw the need to have uh, an entity who would advocate on behalf of the alcoholic uh, because the AA tradition would not allow for um, uh, certain kinds of activity at the point of media and so on and so forth. So they started in New York with um, a a committee on alcoholism that would educate people about alcoholism and refer individuals that were suffering from the condition to treatment. Uh, Marty Mann came to Detroit in uh, 1946 and after she visited uh, Detroit and spoke at the Detroit Economic Club, many of the Detroit leaders, Dr. Bruce Douglas, William E. Scripps, and some of the others, Judge Dan Ryan, decided to found a, uh, a similar group here in Detroit, and that was founded in 1947. We just celebrated 70 years of wow. uh, providing uh, referral treatment, recovery services, and prevention uh, in the southeastern Michigan area. Well, uh, Dr. Jones, obviously with, with the longevity that you just spoke no, of. No, I wasn't here all that time. Uh, right, right. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, you don't look like you've been here the whole time. Well, thank you. Uh, but uh, you guys have been doing some great work. You've been helping people. And one of the models here at Ask the Messengers is uh, we're trying to help save lives. And Good. you guys are part of that process and doing mm-hmm. just that mm-hmm. here at NCADD. For the NCADD, we believe in recovery with dignity. We believe mm-hmm. yeah. that each yeah. individual is entitled to recovery with dignity. That uh, addiction itself dehumanizes people and it, it damages the dignity of the individual. The spirit is damaged by that experience. And so what we look to do is restore that uh, by by the help of the Almighty. We we, we look to uh, have that dignity restored and the light comes back. And and you've seen it, I know. Yes, sir. And and that's great. You have have shared something that I believe is important because uh, when you give a person that dignity back, uh, you know, and, and we hear story after story about some of the, the, the undignified things that they did while mm-hmm. they were in their substance abuse issues yes. and to, to restore that. And, mm-hmm. and the people need to know that, you know, your program is one uh, where you're, you're not looking down, yes. uh, but the only reason you're, you're looking down is to give them a hand up. Mm-hmm. And, and that helps. Uh, and, and to know that you guys are doing that is absolutely amazing. Well, you said that so well, and I couldn't have said it better myself, uh, that we really do want to give people a hand up. Uh, discrimination and stigma is a real barrier to recovery. 
And what we seek to do is to reduce stigma, reduce discrimination, or eliminate discrimination uh, so that people um, are encouraged to, to, uh, to accept help. Yes. Uh, sometimes people won't even accept help even though they need help mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they uh, don't want to be discriminated against. They don't want to suffer uh, uh, being stigmatized and being labeled uh, as they can be labeled. And so they need a place that's safe. Yeah. We believe in creating an environment that allows people to change. Mm -hmm. If we create the right environment, change will happen. Right. And so that's what we want to do. We want staff that, um, that, that appreciates the dignity of the human spirit and knows the value of lifting a person up internally because that will help them to lift themselves up yeah. uh, perpetually. All right. Well, Dr. Jones, we're going to uh, take a break right here. Uh, we're going to come right back. Don't you go anywhere. Uh, we're going to be back more with well, from Dr. Benjamin Jones. Uh, and the NCADD and all that they're doing uh, here in the greater Detroit area. Don't go anywhere. Ask the Messages will be right back after this break. April is Alcohol Awareness Month. And after this break, we will meet some staff members of NCADD who will share information about the different programs they oversee and manage that are focused on prevention, treatment, and recovery. Plus, we'll have more of Lester Lewis's interview with Dr. Benjamin A. Jones later in the show. April is Alcohol Awareness Month. This year's theme is Changing Attitudes. It's not a rite of passage. For more information about the impact of alcohol and other drug use and what NCADD is doing to help, visit our website at www.ncadd-detroit.org where you can also donate to our organization and help save a life. Or better yet, stop in our office, which is located right in the very community we serve at 2400 East McNichols, Detroit, Michigan. I'm Artesia Washington, and I'd like to welcome you to Irvine Head Injury, where restoring you to your previous level of functioning is our goal. We offer services such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech and language pathology, aquatic therapy, massage therapy, and counseling. An automobile accident is an unfortunate event. If you feel that you or a loved one can benefit from our services, you can be reached at 248-415-2500. We look forward to hearing from you. Looking for a rewarding career in healthcare? Advantage Living Center has partnered with Odyssey Educational Center. Upon completion of your CNA program, immediate employment is available. AMG has homes on the east side and west side of Michigan, as far as Armado and Battle Creek. So come be a part of our team. Enroll now at Odyssey Educational Center. Become a certified nurse and assistant by taking our three-week program or enroll to become a hemodialysis technician in our 10-week program. Your new career begins at Odyssey. Hi, I'm Ashley Greaser, the Office Manager at Premier Supportive Services. Here at Premier, we offer a variety of services that include residential service, 24-hour residential, attended care, semi-independent, as well as many other services. So if you know of anyone that has been involved in a car accident, we are located at 17555 James Cousin, Suite 2, or you can give us a call at 313-345-3668. God's World, a Detroit institution at West 7 Mile in Schaefer says, get them while they last. The Obama's 2017 commemorative calendar is going fast. Get your church supplies, communion cups, hide envelopes, Bibles, inspirational books by top authors. Call in your orders at 313-862-8220. Shop online at godsworldsuperstore.org. God's World, for all your inspirational needs. Hi, my name is Linda Owens. I work at Greenfield Hair Collection, and I love doing hair. I've been doing it for almost 30 years now, actually. And I do a little bit of everything. This style right here is a uh, pin curl. This is my weekly client, Lanise, short and sassy. She just got a fresh haircut last week. The name of the salon is Greenfield Hair Collection. We're located on Greenfield between Otter Drive and Curtis. I'm on the second level. My name is Brenda. My phone number is 313-729-8194. Give me a call. I love what I do. Well, I manage an uh, after-school program, in-school services, a uh, program called STEPS, Strong Teens Excelling in Prevention Services. We offer in-school services as well as after-school services. Um, and we also have a radio broadcast, a weekly radio broadcast called STEPS Radio. The program is year-round. All of our services are year-round. 
Uh, we offer trips, events, outings, um, as well as summer jobs. Well, our mission is uh, Young Minds Practicing Prevention in America. Our overall outcome is to um, delay or uh, keep kids away from alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs, as well as other high-risk behaviors. We want to educate them first and foremost to let them know the dangers uh, thereof. Um, so the overall outcome is to delay because statistically uh, we know that if we can delay the experimental phase of teens using alcohol or smoking, um, they're less likely to develop a, a habit later on in life. Yes, well, we partner with an agency um, called DPN, the Detroit Parent Network, and that's where our after-school programs are held uh, twice a week, Tuesdays as well as Thursdays from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. The focus now is the weekly broadcast, which goes on every week. Uh, it's called Steps Radio, uh, WMKM, it's gospel1440.com. And again, we have kids that are on the mic and they're educating other kids, compelling other kids to stay away from alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs. And we welcome all ages to tune in, call in. Uh, we have a comment line, a push line, 313-649-PUSH, which is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The other number is 313-868-1340, extension 12. That's 313-868-1340, extension 112. I just want to add this too. Uh, feel free to take our pledge, uh, uh, recweedmustnotsucceed.org. That's recweedmustnotsucceed.org. It's just basically committing never to support the legalization of recreational marijuana in the state of Michigan. I serve in the capacity as the assistant program coordinator for the safety program. Safety stands for Successful Alliance for Educating Talented Youth. The safety program is uh, basically an incentive-based program and we have partnerships. We also work in the schools during school and after school. Uh, the workshop is based on an 18-week curriculum and it also deals with early intervention and prevention. The incentives could be anywhere from uh, piston game opportunities, uh, kayaking trips, Detroit Tiger baseball games, uh, other things like that. And based on the student and the parent participation will dictate, you know, who qualifies and who doesn't. I mean, ultimately, everybody starts out at the same point. However, if you come every week, which everybody does not, then that kind of, you know, based on, because we do attendance, and, and tracking that attendance, we look at those things, and that's how we determine, you know, who's eligible to go and, and, and who needs to just, you know, continue to work. Last year, we took our students on a mini college tour, and uh, we took them from their community to other communities, to include Ohio, and uh, they got an opportunity to see some things that they might not see on, on a regular. So what we basically did is we try to explain to them that if you do this, 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 and this, then you can achieve and get to this, 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 and this. And uh, like I said, it was a college tour, so they know that there are certain criteria that they have to meet in the schools where they are so that they can proceed to uh, institutions of higher learning and education. We're planning for next year's program, so if anyone is interested in enrolling, uh, I would strongly suggest that they uh, give me a call as soon as possible at 868-1340, extension 113. Uh, we're in multiple schools here in the Detroit area. We service the Wayne Westland area. We service Inkster, uh, Taylor, Romulus, Dearborn Heights, so you need to give me a call right away. A prevention specialist, for one, is just uh, a person who brings awareness to substance abuse. And so through those uh, two evidence-based programs, Celebrating Families and Strengthening Families program, uh, that allows me to go uh, in the community uh, and speak to families, so that's parents and children, um, about substance abuse. And uh, so really my, my job entails me going uh, to different treatment centers perhaps. And I'm working in partnership with other agencies who provide recovery services. And I am a program that's outsourced to come into those um, facilities, so to speak, those agencies. And I, I facilitate those programs. I'm all, throughout the, I'm all throughout the city, but mainly Wayne County. And again, I'm, you might find me, I'm just going to different places. So again, working in partnership with other agencies 
I'm the person coming in providing this program. Celebrating Families is one program. Strengthening Families, uh, again, is a, is a totally separate program, all under how to live healthy. But one of the distinct differences is that Strengthening Families focus is largely um, with ages 10 to 14, whereas the Celebrating Families, it's a larger uh, range for the children. Um, and um, Strengthening Families is a seven-week program, whereas Celebrating Families is about uh, 13 weeks. Um, what I found, though, is that one of the, the main core um, similarities that they have is that the information and the curriculum, uh, which I'm just a facilitator of, but is, is all about how to live healthy. It's not really so much say no to drugs, say no to drugs, but it's because I remember when that program was around, that uh, D.A.R.E. program, which was Just Say No, uh, which is still a valid message and it's important. But I remember the key difference um, was, well, you saying just say no, but why? Everybody want to know why. And so that why and that inquisitive nature, we still want to go find out for ourselves. And then we wind up in a cycle that can lead to addiction. And so the Celebrating Families program, as well as the Strengthening Families program, is really all about how to live healthy. So the curriculum provides information through topics, through conversation, which I'm just facilitating. All my groups are just, it's about an interaction. I'm just a facilitator. And, um, but it's topics like we talk about communication, anger management, our values our purpose in life, how to develop peace. Those are important things. Once we have that information, we probably no longer want to seek out drugs and other substances because it, it's almost like sometimes the drug is the overlay for the underlay and we need to go under and help there. When we return, we'll meet Linda Woodward and two individuals who successfully completed the treatment program. April is Alcohol Awareness Month. This year's theme is Changing Attitudes. It's not a rite of passage. For more information about the impact of alcohol and other drug use and what NCADD is doing to help, visit our website at www.ncadd-detroit.org where you can also donate to our organization and help save a life. Or better yet, stop in our office, which is located right in the very community we serve at 2400 East McNichols, Detroit, Michigan. Thank you for calling the Lab Law Firm. Injured, we can help. Call the Lab Law Firm today. Call for free consultation. 855-HELP-YOU. Millions of dollars have been recovered. No recovery, no fee. Over 40 years experience. Don't trust the insurance adjuster. The insurance adjuster works for the insurance company, but we work for you. Call today, 855-HELP-YOU. That's the Law Law Firm. And remember, your choice of lawyer makes a big difference. Welcome, Judge Mathis. Thanks for coming to share an important message with the Wayne County taxpayers. Well, thank you for allowing me to help. You know, most of my life I was a resident of Wayne County, and so I'm here to help because Treasurer Shabri wants to work with Wayne County homeowners to keep families in their homes and prevent foreclosure. If you're having trouble making your property tax payments, let us know. We have many resources to help. Take the first step towards staying in your home by going down to the Wayne County Treasurer's Office on the fifth floor of the International Building in Greektown. Stop by today to learn more about our payment plans and especially the newly extended interest rate reduction program. Already in the payment plan? It's important you stay in good standing. Making property tax payments is now easier than ever. We have placed payment kiosks in Rite Aid stores and community centers across the county. We've also added kiosks in our offices. Contact us at 313-224-5990 or email us at taxinfo at waynecounty.com. God's World, a Detroit institution that West 7 Mile and Schaefer says, get them while they last. The Obama's 2017 commemorative calendar is going fast. Get your church supplies, communion cups, pie envelopes, Bibles, inspirational books by top authors. Call in your orders at 313-862-8220. Shop online at godsworldsuperstore.org. God's World, for all your inspirational needs. I'm Artesia Washington, and I'd like to welcome you to Irvine Head Injury, where restoring you to your previous level of functioning is our goal. 
We offer services such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech and language pathology, aquatic therapy, massage therapy, and counseling. An automobile accident is an unfortunate event. If you feel that you or a loved one can benefit from our services, you can be reached at 248-415-2500. We look forward to hearing from you. Hi, my name is Brenda Owens. I work at Greenford Hair Collection, and I love doing hair. I've been doing it for almost 30 years now, actually. And I do a little bit of everything. This doll right here is a pin curl. This is my weekly client, Lanise, short and sassy. She just got a fresh haircut last week. The name of the salon is Greenfield Hair Collection. We're located on Greenfield between Outer Drive and Curtis. I'm on the second level. My name is Brenda. My phone number is 313-729-8194. Give me a call. I love what I do. Hi, I'm Linda Woodward, and I'm the clinical director at the National Council on Alcoholism at our uh, treatment uh, clinic, which is Vantage Point. And we're on six. Mi we're on Wyoming between Six Mile and Puritan in Northwest Detroit. And at that clinic, we have um, outpatient treatment for adolescents and also adults. And they come in once a week for outpatient counseling and once a week for group counseling. And we get referrals like from courts, people who have been arrested for drinking and driving, uh, from probation department for uh, like kids who, uh, mothers whose kids have been born with marijuana in their system, they come for treatment. We also get self-referrals. And then the, the uh, outpatient is usually short term, two or three months, but we also have the intensive outpatient program. Now that would be for those people who they don't need residential treatment or inpatient treatment, but they need a little bit more than the outpatient where they come once a week. And they come in three times per week for three hours. And they get a meal and they have a big long group and the support of, of the peers. Uh, and also what we have that's fairly new, in the past couple of years we have recovery coaches. And when, when the client starts treatment, he's assigned a recovery coach and the recovery coach stays with him all during treatment and then when he's discharged, he continues to work with him and help him with housing, anything that he might need once he completes treatment, and that way it helps to avoid relapse. And today I brought along a couple of uh, young ladies who came to us. Uh, Shelly came seven years ago to treatment and she has done, she's still sober today, she hasn't used and she's doing fantastic. Uh, tell them a little bit about your What's been going on with you, Shelly? Okay. I started NCADD about seven years ago. Um, I was in bad straits. When I got there, the staff and Mr. Mr. Boyce, Miss Patricia Jones, and Miss Linda were excellent. They were very, they helped my recovery a whole lot. Um, at, during my recovery, I started school. Um, now I'm in the process of becoming a foster parent. I've been clean for seven years, going on eight years, and I still go back to visit. And if I feel like I need some counseling, I'll go back and talk to someone. Hi, my name is Cynthia. I've been coming to NCADD since 2010 and managed to maintain my sobriety. I encourage that anyone that has any kind of problem, be it alcohol or anything else, that you come there because the staff there is great in helping you and resourcing other things that you need. Now that I've been sober for the length of time that I have, I'm able to do other things in my life that I wasn't able to do, which is take care of my father and, you know, give back to the community. I would like to thank NCADD and their staff for all the help that they've managed, that they have given me over the years. I would recommend NCADD to anybody that has any form of a substance problem because it, it does work and they do help. I'm Pastor Lewis and we are back with Dr. Benjamin Jones uh, here on Ask the Messengers. Now, uh, why is the month of April, Dr. Jones, so important to NCADD? Well, April is Alcohol Awareness Month. is one of the things that we uh, really throw ourselves into. We celebrate this nationally. It's something that you'll hear other affiliates talk about. And other people will uh, help us to uh, identify some of the issues around our alcohol usage. Um, we talk about underage drinking. We talk about the problems associated with drinking and driving, um, uh, campus drinking, uh, campus alcohol consumption, um, the, the problems that alcohol consumption causes in families. Um, the the impact 
on individuals, uh, industry, and so on and so forth. It's important that we understand that um, if, even though alcohol is a very popular substance, and we're coming out of what they call March Madness, uh, <laughs> and uh, and when you go into April and doing March Madness, they're, they're one of the main stays is alcohol consumption. Right, right. Uh, and so it's interesting that we have a, <laughs> a Alcohol Awareness Month on the heel oh, of that. Right, right. Uh, but it's important that people understand that there are there are people who can't consume alcohol the way other folks consume okay. alcohol. That they have uh, a different impact. It has a different impact on them. Also, that it, that we have people who are watching, who are underage, who are not ready to manage the problems associated with alcohol consumption and the other issues that it can create. We talk about alcoholism that uh, you um, uh, don't don't have to um, uh, drink every day to be an alcoholic. You can certainly be an alcoholic without uh, the drinking every day. And we talk. We make sure that people are aware of the symptomatology associated with alcoholism because that's very, very important. All right. Now, I, I, I heard uh, a little birdie told me that, that this branch of the NCADD uh, was instrumental in beginning uh, mm -hmm. that, 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 that awareness month. Absolutely. We, we've been involved in that for, well, since the inception, really. And uh, it's something that we're very engaged in. We do special activities on college campuses. And uh, it's important to us. We understand that uh, people don't really know what they're doing uh, all together when they consume alcohol. They're just doing what they see other people do. And, of course, they do what's being promoted on TV, the commercials, and make it look like uh, yeah, you're going to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. <laughs> if you if you consume the right beverage, you consume right. the right beverage, right. you're sexy and all yeah, those yeah, other things. Yeah. And we want to dispel those myths. All right. We like to encourage people to uh, make a pledge to be alcohol and other drug free for the weekend. And so if you alcohol and other drug free for one weekend, what you discover is that maybe mm -hmm. you can do it do for it, yeah. more weekends. Yeah, right. You know? right. We here at Ask the Messages believe uh, that uh, we have been called to help save lives. And so we want you, if you will, uh, consider sowing a seed, uh, giving from your heart to help this programming stay on the air. Uh, it is with partners like you that allow us to help save lives. And so uh, I heard a verse from the Bible that, that says it all. Uh, he said, what you do unto the least of these, you do unto me. Uh, so whatever you give that helps save lives, to get this information out, to help someone get into recovery, uh, the Lord says, it's just like you're doing it for me. And so we would like to invite you to, uh, the information is there on the screen, feel free, the seed of any, any size, small or large, it all helps to get our mission of helping save lives. All right. And listen, thank you so much for tuning in to Ask the Messengers. Uh, once again, we just want to thank you. Uh, tune in next week as we have even more uh, great information and great programming for you as it relates to substance abuse, education, and prevention. We'll see you all next time on Ask the Messengers. For help, contact the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration National Helpline at 1-800-662-4357 or visit their website, www.samhsa.gov. And please like and follow us on Facebook. We also invite you to attend our 12-step program meetings every Wednesday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. and every Friday, 10 a.m. to noon at the Greater Love Christian Center, 18400 Schaefer in Detroit, Michigan.